I'm here today with Gail Probst. Gail's one of our top agents in the company, and she's out of our Silver Spur office. Welcome Thanks, to the Skyline Studio. Thank you. I'm going to talk about two recent sales, and they were both buyer reps. Right. Traditionally, you're a listing agent. What percentage yeah. of your sales historically have been listings versus buyers? Well, historically, it's always been like 80% listings but this year it's been 50 50 and you know it's been fine it's just different this year a lot of that's come towards the end of the year buyers are finally ready to do something not in a bidding war and they feel more at ease so now with the shift in the market you feel it's a little easier to to find buyers properties and there's not that frenzy of multiple offers no there there's not the frenzy there was there's a lot of lookers but fewer takers. What about interest say. rates? Is that ever a conversation with their buyers? Oh my gosh, one of them. One of my sales was cash, but the other one, oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for all the lenders that they were just jabbing for a better rate, better rate. But they managed to find a really good deal with a mortgage broker I've used for years, and he really searched and found a good deal for them, and they were Thrilled with their rate. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. So real quickly, let's go in. You had two sales in the mm -hmm. two millions, close to three million. One mm -hmm. was on Buckskin, Buckskin. Mm -hmm. and the other one was on Rainbow Ridge. Right. What? Buckskin is an old client that she and her husband went separate ways and with a couple of kids. And I, she called me this summer and said she needed to find a new home. And this was her budget. And we started looking. And yes, we lost out on a couple of things that so how, she really liked. When did you first start looking? What you remember what month that was? July. Okay, so the market was still pretty hot in July. It was, and I'll never, one, she just loved the house, and then she went back to the open house, and she took her kids, and we're all excited, and we couldn't cross the threshold for what that seller wanted, and she was brokenhearted. Oh, no. So then, no, we upped it. We upped it. So then when we found this particular house, actually, she was out of town, I went to preview it, I talked to the agent, and she said, well, we have an offer. Of course she had an offer. But she said, but I'll wait. When will your buyer be back? So the buyer got back on a Monday morning, and we were there Monday afternoon. We walked out, and she said, this is it. I, I knew it was the right house. That's great. So we just came in really strong, and we were all cash. And then they wanted a long escrow because they were buying something. We were so amiable about, sure, sure. It all worked out. We just closed the escrow. And in fact, I texted her this morning and we're doing a few things and we're half moved in and I can't wait to go over and see what she does with the house. Fun. So I have two questions. How important is your relationship with the other agents out there, the listing agents in this case? And also, what do you, what sort of program do you use to keep track of the, of the market and when a new listing comes out, you're Johnny on the spot? Well, your relationship with the other agents is really important. In this case, the other agent and I just got along really well. Um, and I used the direct matrix system. You know, they the minute it comes on and I see it, they see it. And I have I have myself on the system too, so I'm alerted just in case I didn't check my new listings that I get the same alert that they get. Um, but on the other one I sold, um, and we, that was Rainbow Ridge. That was on Rainbow Ridge. Boy, I saw that come. I called my buyers, and them I had worked with. Oh gosh, since spring. And we had looked at anything that had a view. We were always out looking for a view. And they, you know, some of their requirements changed, but never the view element. Had they lost, had you made offers with them yes, and lost out? they also lost out on a couple of things that they thought they wanted. But when we found Rainbow Ridge, it was like, this is why the others didn't work out. But we caught it before the open house. We looked at it, they loved it, and I sent them to the one next door because you could tell that my, this one was a good deal. We made our offer and we got it and the agent said to me, you got this because of our relationship. He knew me, I've known him forever. We get along really well. He, and it, it, was, it was probably one of the smoothest transactions I've ever had so because of our relationship. Even though you knew him, how did you convince him that you had the best offer and you're ready to, to go and they didn't shop other offers and keep it on the market for another week. He didn't either. He had another offer and he didn't shop it. Well, I think it was he liked the lender. The lender called him back right away. So he, he trusted that the lender would close the deal. 
we were easy to work with. I mean, they came back and they want, we said yes to everything because we were getting the house. Right. So they were, oh, that's fine, no problem. We can do short escrow, we can do long escrow, we'll do whatever. We're getting the house. And I think that was their priority. It wasn't all that little nitty gritty details that you, you know, we all go through in a deal. So that was, a, so we, we were so thrilled. So they my, were jumping up and down at the walk, I, at the walkthrough. I love it. It my, was fun. My three takeaways are know the market. You yes. got to be Johnny on the spot when a new listing comes out. Stay in touch with your buyers, even though you've made offers and they may have gone the other way. Kind of be persistent. Oh yes. oh, yes. And the third thing is be a ambassador with the other agents in your marketplace, and it'll help you get, get the deals. It's real important that everybody knows that they can work with you. I'm really easy to work with. I know I'm easy to work with, and I have to be easy to work with, right? So I... I, th I find so much joy in making people happy. You, see, you know, and when people get that right home for themselves, they're just there's yeah, nothing better. You're, you're their best friend. Yeah, yeah, for a short time. Right? Yeah, but it's, it's great. Well, Gail, thank you for joining us, Gail Probst, in our Silver Spur office. Thank you.